Hello, my name is Caroline Radowski and today I'm going to be sharing with you my professional vocational experience that I completed by the Strathdale Soccer Club, being the Knockout Cup. Within this oral, I'll be covering the aims and objectives of the event, whether these were met, any conflicts and problems that I had along the way, and how I aim to resolve these, and basically any um, lessons and things that I learnt during this journey will be discussed at the end and how I apply these to everyday life. So the Knockout Cup competition was created in the year 2000 as a substitute to finals matches because within the formal soccer league season there are no finals matches, it works on a tally system. So basically the team that has won the most games gets the most points. And teams that had improved during the season found that this was unfair as they would never have the opportunity to win the amount of games required in order to win the season if they started off a bit shaky. There were nine teams from the Lodden Mallee district that were invited to compete and all players had to have at least competed in five games during the formal season in order to compete in the Knockout Cup competition. This was seen as fair as it is considered a finals competition and it basically needed people that had been um, there throughout the whole season to compete. Strathdale Soccer Club has never hosted the Knockout Cup, so it was definitely a new endeavour, and it was a great way of introducing the club's new facilities to the general public and the media. The competition ran from the 19th of August to the 23rd of September, and this consisted of about uh, eight, 18 games in total until we got to the final on the 23rd of September. Okay, the aims and objectives of the event and why Strathdale Soccer Club was so keen to run the event was because we needed $1,000 for the club to purchase new uniforms for the senior men's and women's team. And also, the club needs to expand its volunteers and player um, basis. So this could potentially reach new targets um, and new markets that were never thought about for people to come and join the club. These objectives were met during the event. Um, basically, we achieved $1,305 in running the event, which is a little bit under what we expected in the profit um, in the profit and loss statement that was completed through the business plan of $1,804. But it still did meet um, the expectation of the club of $1,000, and therefore new uniforms can be purchased for next year. Um, some of the assumptions that that $1,804 were made were basically around. Um, <clears throat> and that all the food would be sold, which basically did not happen. But over that, however, a profit was made. Many inquiries were received from new and interested players. However, a formal assessment cannot be done until next year when the sign-ups happen for players to register. And this will happen in 2013. So an assessment will be made then via the club's vice president. Parents volunteered throughout the event as required. So basically, volunteer numbers did um, temporarily boost through there. Some of the issues and conflicts experienced during the event were that um, healthy food options were not included um, in the canteen. And this was due to concerns over the monetary budget for these items, the time required to make them, and the potential amount of volunteers that were required. And these were one of the strategies that were put in place to gather more money for the canteen sales when um, the SWOT analysis was undertaken, so that suggestion was not taken on board. The canteen manager became a little bit offended as she's been working there for um, a long time, probably over 10 years, and running the canteen, and she was not comfortable with the idea of using um, healthy food options, and also she didn't like the idea of using the new kitchen facilities. Rusted volunteers for the canteen um, did not turn up and neither did the line runners and general club club maintenance. So this rostered system did not work throughout the season so we just had to grab people as needed. The media frequently recorded incorrect scores as well and information about the knockout cup which is a bit disappointing and this is an example here. Top teams clash in the knockout cup and this team pictured here um, being Eagle Hawk um, was reported as being a Moamba team, so that was a little bit disappointing that they could not get the finals um, people even right through there. So the complex were resolved um, basically through the canteen menu, couldn't be changed, all right, um, and probably needed to be implemented a little bit um, sooner, and gradually an apology was given to the canteen manager. Um, substitute volunteers were found to replace those that did not attend and they were mainly made up of spectators, parents and friends of the Strathdale Soccer Club and also players that were hanging about. 
The media was contacted directly by the club's president about the incorrect reporting and invited to attend the matches several times. However, they did not. And team captains rang the newspaper straight after the matches in order to minimise confusion or match results. Things that could have been different um, during the events running is that the introduction of the healthy food option should have been done more gradually and been more planned. And also I think Bev Davy should have been um, consulted a little bit earlier in the process since she's the canteen manager. She needed basically greater training, support and education. And this was um, something that was recognised for all volunteers as very, much, very little was done in this area. Greater incentives, gratitude and awards need to be given to volunteers to ensure that their work is recognised. And a better relationship really needs to be developed between the media and the Strathdale Soccer Club, maybe inviting them prior to the event, um, getting to know the person who writes the reports a little bit more personally, and demonstrating to the community that this is a worthwhile event for the newspaper to cover. What did I learn through this experience? Well, I basically learnt that event management requires a large amount of planning prior to the event and also consulting, so making sure that people don't get upset and being engaged in the process. Um, otherwise, none of these events can be successful. Completing activities such as a business um, plan and being one of the main organisers of the event are skills that I can transfer to my current business, which I did not do prior to the commencement of it. So basically I can put in um, the SWOT analysis, different strategies, um, the risk assessment, all those things that I learned through the business plan and actually running the event I can apply to my own business. As a leader I need to be more sensitive to my volunteers' needs and think of more strategies to support them, which I really didn't do during the course of this event. I just thought that it would run smoothly and everyone knew their role and what to do. I did gain a lot of confidence in myself and thought that I was capable in running an event maybe in future years and I also earned the trust of the Strathdale Soccer Club for running future events which is quite important as I'm quite involved in the club and it's nice that they can rely on me now to run these events. Um, the references throughout this oral that I've used are basically websites, um, that's where most of the information is found about the Soccer Wee and you can look those up there. <laughs>